Is the YouTube app not working on your iPhone? Whether the app is crashing, failing to load videos, or you're experiencing other frustrating issues, there are a few potential reasons behind the problem. In this video, we'll cover five different solutions to help you fix the problem where YouTube is not working on your iPhone. Be sure to stay until the end of the video, as we'll cover multiple solutions to ensure you can tackle any issue you're facing. The first thing that you can do is to check your internet connection. We can do that by opening our web browser, and then you want to type speedtest.net. And this is going to open a site which will allow us to measure the speed and stability of our internet connection. The higher the number is on this page, the faster your internet connection is. Another little thing that you can do is to switch between your mobile data and find a good and stable Wi-Fi connection. Sometimes the mobile or cellular data can be unstable, so it's a good idea to turn it off and connect to Wi-Fi. But if you're sure that your internet is not the problem, then the second solution which I have for you is to restart your iPhone. Sometimes there can be a software glitch or a problem with the memory of your device, and a simple restart can fix the issue and get your YouTube app up and running again. In order to restart your device, the fastest way is to swipe from the top right corner of the screen and then long press this shut down button. The power off slider will appear, so just slide this until the screen turns completely black, then wait a couple of seconds, and then press the power button until the Apple logo appears. Then wait until your phone turns on and go check if the YouTube application will open and work without issues. The third solution is to offload the app, and we can do that by opening the settings, then general, then iPhone storage, and now find the YouTube application on this list. When you open this page, tap on this offload app, and this will essentially clear the cache files and delete the unnecessary data that your app may have, and this data can cause bugs and glitches in our YouTube application. So offloading the app can resolve this issue and then tap on reinstall. This will install a fresh new version of the YouTube application, which will hopefully solve your problem. Another thing which we can do is to open our app store and then search for YouTube. A good idea is to frequently update the application in the app store. This way we will be sure that we get all the bug fixes and performance improvements. We'll get all the latest features and all those other things. So update YouTube and restart your application. And tell me in the comments if this worked for you. The fifth fix for this problem is to check if you've turned off the cellular data usage for the YouTube app. Let's open the settings, then go over to the cellular data or the mobile data section right here. Scroll a bit down until you see this cellular data with some applications. And let's expand the list by clicking on this show all right here. You have to make sure that the YouTube application is enabled right here. So make sure this switch is green and enabled. This option will allow us to use our mobile data with the YouTube app. If you disable this, this will prevent you from using the mobile data for the YouTube application, and while this is useful because it can save us a bunch of mobile data, it won't let us watch videos on YouTube, so that's what your issue may be. Go through these five steps and tell me if any of these worked for you, and if it did, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to AppTutor in order to get more similar tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon!